Hello and welcome to Infinity. I recently did a video on the new color model, which is RGBW, which is a kind of an inverse of the more familiar CMYK. So I thought I would do a video on CMYK and basically deconstruct it and show how it works. This video is for the technically curious. By the way, it's not going to show you anything particularly useful in editing photos. So if that's all you want, go watch other videos. If you're curious, hang around. So what should we do? If we take a picture like this, the normal way that we would, if you want to separate out into separate layers, the, um, the cyan, magenta, yellow and black, a simple way to do it is to go to the curves. You have one layer per uh, per channel, and here we're going to go here to the CMYK model here, color model, and then go down. We're going to leave the cyan, but effectively we're going to turn all the others down. So with curves, that quite simply means pulling down the right hand side of the curve, which effectively says you've got from naught to one here, so it sets everything zero. So we do the same with yellow and black. And we're left here with a cyan channel, which here is everything down the bottom is white here. And here you've got shades here. Notice in this, by the way, and importantly, it's all shades of white to cyan. There is no black in here. And that's because it's kind of been extracted, but also because the way it's kind of an upside down model of how things work. So I can then show I've done the same thing here with the others. So there's the magenta. There is the yellow and there is the black. So you've got a black one here. But although we say blacks, normally you go naught to one. One, one means more, 100% means more. But this actually is the other way around. So this is because it's an upside down model. So the white here in the clouds, that's one, but it's actually less black. So it needs a lot of upside down thinking to make this thing work. So let's leave that for now. We'll come back to it and we're going to look at how this works. So here we got, say this is one pixel, red, green and blue for each pixel. And for every pixel, this combination will be different levels from 0 to 1, which could be 255 in 8-bit, 65535 in 16-bit. And when I worked on the RGBW color model, what I did was I said, let's snip off the bottom here. And this level is going to be different for every um, every pixel. So a very bright pixel, it's going to be very high and a low pixel is going to be dark. We chuck all those into the white channel and what's left up here we put into the RG and B channels, and then we add them all up afterwards. And so we needed to know if I snip the bottom off here, what's left here, put those in each channel and so on. So let's have a look at a little bit more of this question of CMY, because we need to, to understand this. Let's draw a box here and we'll bring the color panel down to the middle so we can see what we're doing. So if I want to make the red channel show cyan, I need to keep the green and blue up because cyan is made of green and blue. So I'm, again, because it's all backwards, so to increase the cyan, I'm turning the red down. And so there we have the red and this goes up. And notice no blacks in this. If you wanted blacks in it, you'd have to start bringing down these. But we don't want that because we just need this white model. Similarly for others, if I wanted to do yellows, then I'd leave red and green high and bring down the blue. So let's put that back up there and get rid of this. And the way we're actually going to do this in terms of calculation is sort of being upside down. We're now going to look at the maximum value here. So the maximum in this, this particular pixel is red, could have been either of the others. And then we're interested in then of taking, how do we do this? Because instead of adding and subtracting, we're going to do multiplying and dividing. 
So say for the blue channel here, we'd have the blue divided by the maximum of the RGB, which is this value here. So it would give a proportion of what the way the blue is relative to all this. And effectively, we should be chopping off that maximum afterwards to you put into the black channel. Let's do it on this one here. So I'll turn off that one there, open up this one here. I've got these ready CMYK, but we're just going to adjust each one. I'm going to use the apply image, which is very different from the apply image in Photoshop, by the way. So filters, apply image here, because this lets us set up equations. So I'll use current layer of source and then click as equations, and I can now put in things here. So I'm just going to put the green and the blue to one each because that pushes that up so I get cyans. And then I'm going to put this as a proportion of that maximum. It's SR over max, SR comma SG comma SB, which is just like the sort of thing you do in some like an Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to select that and do a control C. So I'm going to copy that because I'm going to use that in several other places. So I apply that one here and I've now done the cyan. And as you can see here, this is effectively white here, but it looks like the other one. You've got to remember, everything is upside down. So for the magenta, simile, filters, apply image, use current layer of source equations. Now we want the red and the blue to be one. And we're going to divide again by the maximum to get this and to see it, let's turn off the cyan layer so we can see the magenta layer appearing underneath and apply that there. So there we can see the agenda that's, you know, the cyan was mostly about the sky, magenta, there's a lot more elsewhere. I'll turn that one off so we can see what we're doing to the yellow and go to filters, apply image. And there's use current layer as source and equations. Now, we want the ones in the reds and the greens so that everything left here is yellow. And we're going to reduce that to a proportion. And so we see here the yellow is all down here. And the, uh, there's not so much up there. But again, all upside down thinking. So we're going to apply that one now. And then that's just left now with the blacks. And we're going to go again to filters, apply image, but the blacks we have to do something slightly different to. Use currently as a source and equations. Now each one of them is this max value. And the reason they're all the same is because when red, green, and blue are all the same, then you get grayscale. So I'll apply that. And I can check that by I've got the right one when this is finished in a moment by turning on the top layer, which I already had the original up there. So I'll turn that on, turn that off. So we looked momentarily there at the one done with curves, exactly the same. So now the question is, how do I combine these here? And I click on the, the cyan and shift click down the bottom. And if you remember, we said we're doing multiplies and divides here rather than adds and subtracts. So we go to the blend mode here and go down to multiply. Bing. And there we go. There we have our original image. So that's how we work it. It's an upside down set of snipping off the top and bottom. We're effectively snipping the top but by using multiply and divide rather than by add and subtract. So there we go. I hope that was interesting and thank you very much for watching.